top story tonight, COVID cases on campus continuing now to grow. Here's a look at the case count for UT. 622 active cases on campus. That's eight staff members and 616 students. 2014 people are in active self-isolation. You know, right now, UT students living in Massey Hall are being forced now to move. And here's the deal. University needs more space for students who live on campus to self-isolate, so they are now turning to Massey Hall into, well, they're turning it into an isolation dorm. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us live there after spending the day talking to students in the middle of their big move. And Kirsty, they have a week to get out, so what's the plan? Lori Bo, I've already seen several students leave Massey Hall with suitcases in hand. Now, they just found out this morning about the move. And although university leaders are trying to make this difficult situation a little easier, some students say it's added stress they don't need right now. Four weeks after making this dorm home. I think it's all really bad timing because I have a lot to do this week anyways with school. The students who live in Massey Hall are being forced out. COVID-19 cases at the university are on the rise. 378 new cases just since September 1st. And now more than 2,000 students and staff are self-isolating. But where? I'm not super excited about moving out. Um, but I mean, if they have to make space, they have to make space. And I can't do anything about that. So yeah, I'm just trying to take it as I can. The students will be charged the same rent no matter where they're sent. They're also getting a refund. The school will provide supplies and staff to help with the transition. Professors are being asked to be flexible. I'm glad they're taking extra measures to make sure kids are quarantining properly and staying safe. But I think if some of the students here would stop partying all the time, then maybe we'd stop having like 100 cases per day. Differing opinions, though, as to why the cases keep climbing for the students tasked with moving. I feel like the school is responding as well as they can. I feel like the students, they're just tired of being quarantined, so they're trying to do, you know, they're trying to have fun, so I can understand that. Massey Hall was chosen for isolation space because it houses fewer students, but has lots of beds. I mean, I've been here four weeks, so is it going to be another four weeks and I have to move again? But as long as we get to stay on campus, I'll move like however many times I have to. Call it an in-town move, if you will, but campus is home. Now, UT has 355 beds off campus where on-campus students can self-isolate. Massey will provide an additional uh, 582 beds for self-isolation. Reporting live at Massey Hall, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. Okay, Kirstie, thank you. And all students moving from Massey Hall into other residential halls will be tested for COVID-19 tomorrow and Friday. Students must choose their moving option by Friday. And we just last heard in the last half hour from UT Knoxville Chancellor Donnie Plowman that it could take two weeks to empty Massey Hall.